Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the 15th and 16th questions from CBSE Class 10 Examination 2022-23, Section 8, that is multiple choice questions, where each question is of one mark. Now, the 15th question is from the statistics chapter. If the value of each observation of a statistical data is increased by 3, then the mean of the data is. So we have to check whether it remains unchanged or increases by 3 or 6 or increases by 3n. So let us begin by considering three observations for the mean and let us consider it as mean 1 and the three observations are added divided by the total number of observations. I have taken three here, you can take four, five or more. Now let us increase each observation and see what will happen to the mean. So I have considered the observations increased by three as mean two. So you can see here x has been increased by three, y is y plus three and w is w plus three. And since the observations are same, that is 3, we are going to divide the mean 2 by 3 as well. Now, let us separate the x, y and w terms and add 3 plus 3 plus 3. So, we get here x plus y plus w, we have separated it and added all the 3's together giving us 9 divided by 3. Now, I am going to separate the denominator 3 to x plus y plus w and 9 and we get x plus y plus w divided by 3 plus 9 over 3. Now here 3 from the denominator divides the 9 from the numerator that is 3 3 times is 9. So simplifying this we get x plus y plus w over 3 plus 3. As you can see x plus y plus w over 3 was our mean 1 and it has been increased by 3. Now you can take 4 number of observations, 5 number of observations and also check that every time it is going to increase by 3 not by multiples of 3 but just by 3. So here our option is going to be increases by 3. That is option B. Now let us move on to the 16th question. Now the 16th question is from the probability chapter. Probability of happening of an event is denoted by P and probability of non-happening of an event is denoted by Q. So relationship between P and Q is. So let us begin by writing the probabilities first. So the probability of happening of an event is given as P and the probability of non-happening of an event is given as Q. Now one is a positive statement and the second one is a complementary statement of the previous one. So we have a formula for probability which is probability of happening of an event plus probability of non-happening of the event is always equal to 1 or when we add all the probabilities the sum of all the probabilities should be equal to 1. So here since probability of happening of an event is given as P and probability of non-happening of an event is given as Q. So substituting it in the formula we get P plus Q is equal to 1. So this is the relationship between the probabilities in this given question. So let us see if it is in the option. So this is our option A which is P plus Q is equal to 1. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. And if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.